John here. So we're using this uh, double-sided adhesive tile mat from Muscle Bond, right? Uh, so the benefits of this stuff, there's a roll of it there, is just, uh, well, to, the mortar mix is just messy and putting the mortar mix on, you kind of have to do the tiles at, uh, you know, that time when you're mixing your mortar up and stuff. And with this stuff, you could take your time and uh, apply the, you know, the double-sided mat. So this is uh, just stuck on one side. You peel this uh, to put the tiles on later. But as I'm going along here, it's uh, easy to do. And I'll show you a couple of moves that I figured out uh, when it comes to like putting a small strip like this. It's kind of problematic because this stuff comes in 12 foot or 12 uh, 12 inches, and it's very sticky stuff. So there is a way to do it where you can do some measurements and uh, just use little little pieces at a time. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but the other thing is, as far as uh, benefits to using this stuff, is um, we can actually tile this today if we wanted to after we get done you know sticking all this stuff on we can get right on to sticking the tiles on uh, as opposed to waiting for a mortar mix to dry you know 24 hours and that kind of thing so I'm just piecing uh, this section in here right and then I gotta get going over here and cut around the uh, electrical boxes and do behind the stove and the refrigerator and all that but let me just show you how and I'll just do this piece how easy this stuff is so you get yourself a piece of uh, this is that pink pink foam stuff uh, for a cutting board. <laughs> it's got black on there for another project. But And then get yourself some parchment paper. A roll of parchment paper will do the trick. I got these little rectangles that I just spread out and I'll show you um, how you can measure this accurately without, like I said, it, it, it's problematic when you're when you're trying to do something accurately. And it comes in a roll. So if you were to you know, take this stuff out, it sticks to everything. So how do you measure it and how do you cut it? So I just need a little piece. Let's say you just need a little piece, right? You can put this down, stick it, and I also use a uh, something to hold it down because it, it's going to walk, you know, this is slippery stuff. So, so I'm just going to go eight, seven, eights. That way we'll have... Uh, an edge to line up with that straight two and three quarters. All right, it's off a straight edge and a sharp utility knife, and boom, that's all it takes. Because we're going in the foam, cuts right through. Now we have a piece that is still sticky and the stuff comes right off. So we could just stick it in our uh, spot. So that's, that's that. And I'll show you um, how good this stuff is. And let's say, you know, that's all the piece you needed and you need to save the rest of this uh, because it's on parchment paper. It is going to roll right back up with no problems whatsoever. Right. Just take the parchment paper off. And we still have a solid, uh, solid sheet with no, with no compromise from the sticky stuff, right? So that's good. That's how you can cut it. Let's so say this is our piece of uh, wall here. And you see how this, uh, even though this is not sanded, it's, it's uh, got a little bump there. This stuff, it doesn't matter. Um, it's got absorbed that, and so you can have some imperfections on your wall, right? So you would just, uh, you know, when you're putting on your wall, just get a corner or something stuck, because if you need to reposition, you know, everything will be uh, matted down. And then when you, what I've, what I've done is, let's say this is the wall, once I get it in position, I just use a uh, grout float and go ahead and and smooth it down. That's what I've been doing. It seems to work well. Um, the directions say press on it for five seconds. But 
me just doing this, I wanted a uniform, make sure everything is stuck. Now, if I was trying to get this stuff up immediately, um, you probably could do it, but it's going to be probably taking little chunks of wood off because, like I said, this stuff is so sticky. Like when we just did it, and it's it's pretty problematic. See how it's ripping everything up? So wherever this stuff sticks, you kind of have to <laughs> deal with it. And if you get little blisters or bubbles. Um, you could try to smooth it out, but if there's like a bubble because something wasn't, wasn't aligned, you take a little knife and make a slit, right, and just work it in. Because like I said, the, uh, the little bumps are not going to really uh, make a difference. Place your tile down, and that's that. just a little flexible quarter inch piece of uh, plywood. So All right, so another benefit to uh, using this muscle bound stuff is you know I just drew a line there that blue line for, for level across the, the entire cabin all the way around and uh, that's why where I'll start my course there because the countertop is not exactly 100% you know it might have a dip or two or you know not level uh, as opposed to just you know starting at the base going up it's going to get unlevel and if I started over here perhaps it would raise you know what I mean raise up if I try to level everything um, this way I can uh, put one course of tile across and then individually as I go along adjust for the counter but, like I said, this muscle bounds, so I can make a, a, a small cut with a utility knife right across that blue line and peel just what I'm doing at that particular time as far as sticking my uh, mosaic tiles on, right? And that way, uh, when it comes to getting an accurate measure, this is not going to be exposed. I can put the tile that I'm working with underneath and get an exact measurement and make my cut and do whatever I need to, especially around the uh, boxes and everything. Uh, do what I need to do while it's not sticky and then as soon as you want to put it on peel it off so you can literally just cut out a square and stick it in there you know that this stuff peels right off and uh, I thought that was uh, beneficial that to that too uh, so it's been a day let this uh, grout grout set up so in terms of but again if we uh, bang on this thing stuck on like nobody's business. Right now, obviously you're not going to be doing this to a wall. Let's see if we could drop this. <laughs> Still good. Still good. Anyways, I just wanted to demonstrate how good this stuff is. It's like, uh, if I was just to do that with mortar the next day, just regular mortar, I'm sure, especially dropping it, it would crack. I'm surprised that the, uh, I should strap a couple more times, that the, um, the grout didn't crack. Oh yeah, now it did. See, the grout's cracking, and that's not 100%, uh, it's only been uh, probably 13 hours. I could see the grout, that's the only thing that was affected, it's still stuck to my, uh, <laughs> Yeah, you see the grout falling out now. But that's pretty incredible. This thing is still stuck on. And probably couldn't get it off if you had, if this was wallboard or, uh, you know, some kind of, 
you, you wouldn't be able to peel this off. The, the backing of the paper and the, 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 the wallboard would, uh, sheetrock would come right off with it. All right, so I got, got a little thing right now. Okay. got that piece off the, off the wood. Like I said, when we, uh, we didn't even clean that board, that was uh, remnants of, um, I believe it was bonder or something on there. It stuck to it permanently. And I could, I could see wood grain, wood grain, wood little wood splinters that came off of this. <laughs> so it's definitely stuck on there. Now let's see if we can get the tile off of there. Not that I'm going to use this tile, but if you had to. This stuff's still sticky, but you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, the mesh on there is, is coming off with, with this stuff. So this stuff is pretty, pretty good stuff. I like it. It's still sticky. Anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.